minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal at this point we've already passed through max q that maximum dynamic pressure and passing supersonic so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound getting those onboard views from the ship cameras Right, counting down now, we're going to be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle, and then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip back and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up start for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Stage separation. Hot staging confirmed. Boosters now making Hi, its way signal. back, Down. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster, as well as on the right-hand side of your screen, that is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. So for landing burn, we're gonna to expect to see the 13 center engines light, rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. acquisition of signal. Let's see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn. Um, ship engine cut off. There we go. <laughs> Raptor engines have successfully shut down. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. I, I can't believe we're seeing it in, in <laughs> space. This is awesome. Wonderful. And now we are going to be coasting for uh, the next about 30 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. We'll be back around the T plus 40 minute mark. And that'll be uh, Starship continuing to coast, hit those ambitious test objectives, and then continue on to re-entry. Oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. Starship is so big that we're hoping that the plasma field doesn't entirely blanket the entire vehicle. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... Views brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. 
I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. <laughs> absolutely, Kate. And, and it's important to note with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities, even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory. So the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. Yeah. Again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever flown. And you can definitely tell by the, uh, the crowd here in Hawthorne. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat chill tiles are dissipating as we are re-entering. The atmosphere is actually doing us a huge favor here by acting as a braking system for Starship um, as it re-enters the atmosphere. And that's part of the reason why the flaps are so important. We're using the body of Starship and the drag from the atmosphere to slow us down from orbital speed but you want the vehicle to remain stable. You want those heat shield tiles pointed down uh, so they can absorb the heat of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, for now, though, we are just still waiting to see if we're going to get some signal back. We're currently at a loss of signal with Starship. Uh, don't know for sure what its status is, and so we're just continuing to listen in. But it was pretty incredible seeing the flaps really do their thing to maneuver the vehicle as it's moving through hypersonic. We are making the call now that we have lost ship 28. So uh, as we were possibly expecting, we lost the data a couple of minutes ago. We haven't heard from the ship uh, up until this point. And so the team has made the call that ship uh, has been lost. So no splashdown today, uh, but again, just it's incredible to see how much further we got this time around.